My name is Shara Youngerleiter. My husband Jeff and I, our first child, Evan, was born with Tay-Sachs disease in August of 1994 and he passed away in December of 98. My name is Myra and I lost my daughter Javi to Tay-Sachs January 20th, 2021. When she was born, she was strong and beautiful and seemingly perfect. And at around a year old, we started noticing some developmental delay that Javi had experienced. On December 17th, 2019, we received the fatal and tragic diagnosis of Tay-Sachs. And ultimately, we, we lost her January 20th, 2021. She's survived by her younger sister, Kaya, and uh, a newborn baby brother who she never met um, and is a couple weeks old. I'm Andrew, and this is Molly, and this is our healthy baby boy, Miller. Can we say hi, Miller? Just we're throwing blueberries now. So we, we first heard about uh, J-Screen when I was actually at a conference and J-Screen had a table and just talked about the value of genetic screening and was like, yeah, that's something we should do. My dad is a Tay-Sachs carrier. My sister I knew was a Tay-Sachs carrier. And it was, it was a no-brainer that it was something that I was going to do. My mother is a carrier of Tay-Sachs and I knew that from her and so it was kind of always in the back of my mind and I always knew I wanted to have kids at some point and so when I met folks from J-Screen I was like this is the time to do it and I uh, found out that I'm a carrier as well and so that led to good conversations and uh, yeah helping us to know more. You may not really know what your family history or your full ethnic background is, and anyone can be a carrier of any genetic disease. It used to be that there was just ethnicity-based testing, especially for the Jewish population. But, you know, nowadays people don't necessarily know what their true ancestry or ethnic background is. So I believe that everybody should be screened for genetic diseases to know whether they're at risk of passing anything on to their children. There is no shame in being a carrier of a disease. And in fact, that knowledge gives you the power to make the most informed choice for you and your partner for how you want to build a family. I am so passionate about carrier screening and especially carrier screening through J-Screen because um, in, in my case, I was tested for Tay-Sachs disease by my doctor who misinterpreted the test and told me that I wasn't a carrier. I didn't know that there was any such thing as a genetic counselor or even other diseases to be tested for. So when J-Screen started, it allows people to be both educated, tested, and counseled about all of the diseases that are available and that they're being tested for. And so getting the right testing, having really transparent and knowledgeable genetic counselors navigate what can be a really confusing time is maybe the most important thing about uh, embarking on parenthood. I would say to folks who want to be parents is get screened because knowledge is power and having this knowledge makes us feel more in control of our situation and helped us to figure things out on our timeline and that made sense for us. And there's lots of options and lots of help and support. But if you don't get screened, if you don't find out, you, you just don't know. And it's just much better to know. I would advise taking every preventative precaution that you possibly can, making sure that you're incredibly educated on you and your partner's genetics. Get tested before pregnancy. It will provide you with vital, really life-saving information for the health of your future children and your family. Go get tested. Um, if you're thinking about starting a family, if you know that's something you want at some point in the future, um, it's so easy. It can be affordable. It doesn't need to be scary. Um, it's simply a really, really essential act. Get tested. It's easy. It is get so tested. easy. It's so important. Even if you're not sure um, your interest in being a biological parent, just have that information. It's so, it is so easy. It is so important. Knowledge is power. And it's one of the easiest tests. If you can spit, you can, you can take this test. That's true.